So I've been using OpenAI's new ChatGPT 4.0 application on my iPhone for some time now and I gotta say it's totally blown my mind and now that this application is officially available for the Mac like OpenAI said in this video I'm simply going to be showing you how you can download this application, what are the supported Macs and what you can do if you get an error message while trying to open the Mac application. One thing to keep in mind is that it could be possible that a few days ago you tried to download this official application from chat gpt and it wasn't available for your country origin but it seems like chat gpt or open ai themselves are progressively making this available and different features as well according to different regions being in north america we usually tend to get new releases or the first batches of software like this so if you are in a country or region where it's not yet supported that's not absolute in a few days or so it's rolling out and more features are being opened to more users this is my desktop that you are seeing right here i want to go ahead and open up safari or whichever is your browser of choice and then you want to type in openai.com like this and then search you come up to this page alternatively if you want you can search it up on google and you have to use the official website for openai.com in order to get the official product and not one that has malware or has some other contents package so this is the official openai website if you open it up for the first time or if you're not signed into your openai account you see a page that looks something like this now right here you can see they mentioned the new chat gpt 4.0 or for Omni and what you want to do here is go to their products and if you go down to where it says chat GPT login right here under chat GPT you notice it will open a new window right here and once it opens this it will welcome you back if you have an account if you don't it will prompt you to sign up so I'll, I already have an account and I would just log in and it's signing in and then boom you can see where we are right now so this is now the web-based version and the cool thing about the web-based version if you don't want to download the application is that you you know you can still use chat gpt for all and if you click down here you can see chat gpt4 chat gpt3.5 or the newest model right here now if i click on my profile right here you can see my plan unfortunately you can see my current plan is this one and i had already paid when this was announced because i was so excited but at the time i'm recording this video this seems to be available only for chat gpt plus subscribers so the omni version of chat gpt 4.0 is only available to chat gpt plus subscribers or if you have the team subscription here which is five dollars more you can also have access to chat gpt plus no limit so for me this is the current plan that i'm on but ultimately open ai did mention that their plan is to make sure that this chat gpt for omni is available for all users on the iphone and on the mac and later on windows for different users for free so at the time i'm recording this video that hasn't yet happened you do need to be a chat gpt plus subscriber to be able to use chat gpt for all now with that out of the way if i go to my profile right here and then on the bottom section right there you can see we have the option to download the mac os app now if i click there it allows me to it it wants to ask me if i want to download from chatgpt.com and then if i allow you notice it's such a small application it's for 48.5 megabytes and then if i double click it you can see now it gives me the prompt to drag this chat gpt app and drag it to my applications folder and this is not a web app it's an official app from chat gpt themselves so i've already dragged it and now if i minimize this and go to my applications you can see the chat gpt application is right there ultimately if you launch your finder and then go to where it says applications 
and you go to C, you press C right here, you will see all the uh, applications that start with C and you can see ChatGPT is among those applications. And if you want to get more info, you can get the info right there and the unpacked application size is 134.7 megabytes. Now compared to Microsoft Windows users, Mac OS users are such a small base. So it's kind of a surprise that first OpenAI is making this application available first for the Mac or Mac OS users. And then later on in the year, they will mention that they have planned to make this available for Windows users. So if you are a Windows user, you might have to wait a little bit in order to get the official version. If you do open up the App Store and search for ChatGPT, at the time I'm recording this video, there is no official OpenAI ChatGPT application on Apple's macOS App Store. So you do get this no call for other AI chatbots or applications that have the ability to sort of pull points from ChatGPT, but they won't be the official ChatGPT application. So now that we've downloaded the official application for ChatGPT, let's open it up right here. Because we are opening it for the first time, we have this pop-up that it's an app downloaded from the web. Do you want to allow? Now we say open and right here, you can see it's such a small window. It's almost as if it was meant for an iPhone on iPad. But now I'll just log in right here and it auto popped up the web based version and I signed in using that. But now you can see we have introducing the launcher for ChatGPT. You can use the launcher to install and ask ChatGPT anything. Just press option spacebar. Let's try that open spacebar and now you can see we have this that says what can chat gpt do for you which is something that's cool so there's now that shortcut which is here and if i go back to the application you can see that launcher is comes into the charts right here and if we click on the top section that says chat gpt right there you can see i have the different versions of chat gpt i have the latest omni and then there's version 4 and then if you are using the free version of chat gpt you have this chat gpt 3.5 now you can always select the version that you want but of course if you are paying for chat gpt plus and later on this will become free which will be the chat gpt omni version now unfortunately at the time i'm recording this video i hope it doesn't remain like this but this chat gpt open ai application that's from their official website is only supported on macbooks that have the apple silicon chip or apple m1 chip going forward i'm using the m1 pro chip on my macbook pro so you will need a macbook that has an apple silicon chip in order to run this but hopefully this changes because there's actually some intel based macs out there that are more expensive than the entry level apple silicon chip so some people have very expensive intel based machines out there but they still can't run this chat gpt application so hopefully that changes as well now if you've downloaded the official chat gpt application like i showed from the official open ai website and you've probably just paid one month of chat gpt plus subscription just for test to try and see how it works on the iphone and on the mac because it's the same subscription that will work and you download the app however you get an error message that says that you don't have access to this app yet what you want to do is when signing into the app after the capture appears a white window appears in the app just before getting the message that you don't have access so using your keyboard you want to quickly press command plus Q right when the white window appears and then reopen the application and hopefully this will be a sort of a temporary workaround until the application is available in your country origin but that's what I've seen on different forums including the chat GPT forum itself so that's how you can quickly download the chat GPT application, what to do in order to have access and a little bit of the supported Macs and the workaround if this application is not supported yet or if you don't have access. Hopefully that works for you, but this is chat GPT for Omni that I'll be testing out. And if you want to see some of the features that you can do and the quick prompts as well as the new voice assistant that's here, definitely hit that subscribe button because that's my next video that I'll be making. Peace.